ahead in perseverance. Now the fourth lesson, uh, and everyone here is, is obviously blessed with angels, and uh, both personally and professionally, and, and hopefully you guys are angels to other people, um, and, and you realize, much like Sparky, kind of an openness to those that can help you. And obviously groups like OMA are phenomenal. Um, you know, there's a lot of angel support here internally uh, and inside this room. Uh, but I learned this lesson actually from Sparky Anderson. And Sparky was the Hall of Fame manager uh, from the Cincinnati Reds and the Detroit Tigers. First guy actually ever to win a World Series as a manager in both leagues. And like right out of central casting, a little bit of a hunchback, a 5'7", you know, just kind of grizzly kind of manager guy, always like looking for a fight. He'd be a good building manager, I think. You know, think uh, I didn't think of that one, but he would. Um, so Sparky, when he was uh, six years old, uh, was living in South Dakota, only child, and his parents were professors, and they moved um, just about 100 miles north of here. And they moved in June. And think about when you're six. Like, that's the worst time to move, isn't it? Because, like, all your friends at that age are just from school, and everybody on summer vacation is to dress. So, you know, Sparky being from the Dakotas, he liked to fish. So he just kind of wandered off, and I just imagine, you know, kind of like the Andy Griffith show, him whistling and at a spot, you know, fish pole, and just going off to the woods by himself, finding a good stream. And one day, as he got closer to the path where he was going to fish, he found these baseballs that were kind of half buried in the mud, like rocks. Must have been like a rainstorm or a stream or some kind of mudslide. So he picks them up and he makes a he makes a basket with his shirt. And he kind of, you know, picking them up, following them along, and makes a little basket. And he, he looks up and he sees through the trees that there's a baseball stadium. Never seen one before in his life. And... He walked up, and um, there's a practice going on. He walked up to the coach, and he, he actually he goes, who's in charge? You know, even as a six-year-old, he would have been a good building manager. And he's like, who's in charge? And he said, you know, I, I, you know the manager said, I am. And he said, well, I, I found these, and I, I, I'd like to sell them to you, um, because I need to buy bait. Uh, it really would have been great, like, as a building manager. That'd be phenomenal. Like, that's that perseverance, right? And... The manager grabbed one and he said, uh, let me see that. And he said, what, what does that say on the baseball? And it said, property of the University of Southern California. And he said, what does this say? And he's like, Southern California. And he's like, kid, these, these are mine. Good effort. And, and he paused and he said, well, what are you doing? Don't you have any friends? And he goes, no, sir, I just moved here. And he said, how'd you like to be my back boy? And that guy's name, and Sparky actually didn't even know what a fat boy was. But he's like, you know, sure be suspicion by yourself. So he said, sure. And that guy's name was Rod Dato. And Rod was probably, is, is still regarded as the, the kind of the Babe Ruth of managers of college. He was a manager of the USC baseball program for decades. So from 6 to 18, Sparky sat by his side. And as he told me this story... He paused and he said, there are three angels that will come into your life that will literally change your destiny. How lucky was I that I met my first one at age six? You constantly in life have to follow the baseballs and pick them up because you never know when you might be an angel to someone else or an angel might come into your life.